Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I got me a bearded dragon probably about like maybe three weeks ago. He's pretty cool. I like him a lot. Um, but this video is about um about how to keep the crickets from getting underneath your carpet. If you guys have carpet or you guys use newspaper, um, you know crickets are expensive. They're like, um, I pay about like for four boxes up at Petco and they're like almost $30 for four little cartons of crickets. And um, so they get kind of expensive. So they always crawl underneath the carpet and my my dragon over there, his name's Rocco. He can um, never find them. So I'm always have, having to dig out the crickets underneath the carpet. So uh, I'm going to show y'all guys a way to keep the carpet down in the corners. As you can tell over here, they, they're probably down inside the carpet over on that side. Um, basically what I'm going to use is double sided tape. And if that doesn't work, I have duct tape. So I'm going to show y'all the crickets where they're hiding. Oh, there's some right underneath underneath that. I need to find a little stone to put underneath there so they're not hiding. But um Alright, there's some walking around now. Now I'm gonna lift this corner up. Oops, probably just squished a few. Well, there's a dead one over there. Oh, there is a whole bunch. So they're just all underneath the carpet. So I'm going to take everything out. And um, I will be right back on part two. Oh, oh my beardy, he's getting it. Get the crickets, Rocco. Get the crickets. Ah, there he goes. See if he goes for one. Oh, one went right underneath them. Oh, oh, it got away. He got away. So he's pretty hungry. So I'm going to hurry up. Um, You guys will see part two here in a second. I will be right back. Get him. Get him. Come on, Rocco. He's probably camera shy. Alright, guys. We're back. And um, I got everything out of the tank. I washed his uh, cloth that goes on the, the carpet. And I put the double sided tape in there. You can see it like that. So all the way around. And I'm going to do that other side right now. So I just measured it out. And then. Um, And you can tell all the crickets inside here. Just try to move them out of the way best I can. But it's fairly easy to do. Just have, have to have double sided tape. Some scissors. Make sure it's pressed down pretty good. Oh, 
Peel the plastic off. Drop my light. get the, the carpet should be dry yeah but it's dry I'm gonna take it now I had to cut it up in some other pieces because they didn't have my size of tank at the pet store I'm just gonna lay it down in there Crickets out of the way. Move, cricket. Oh, yeah, it's going to work real nice. Place it down. Just like that. First. And then. I'm going to reach around over here. Pull it. Make sure there's no crickets underneath there. There's one. Right, there we go. I'm gonna get that side. Make sure there's no crickets. Oh, there's one. All right, there we go. I'll push down in all the corners. So these guys better not have chrome underneath there. All right. Okay, now for the other pieces. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some more tape to fit this. Um, so when I put it in on top, they're not going to crawl underneath the right side of it. So I'm going to put some tape. So. I'll be right back for part three. All right, I'm all right. I'm finished. Um, instead of using double-sided tape, I know it costs a lot of money. It's like five dollars a roll. I went through a whole roll on this, so I bought some duct tape just in case, and that actually worked a lot better. So it's a lot cheaper than duct tape. All right. So, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, all the crickets are staying above the carpet now. They can't go underneath it. Haha, <laughs> suckers. They're all going to die now. By my buddy Ring. Rocco. Come here, Rocco. Hey, bud. Say hi. He's a pretty yellowish. Sometimes he's green, sometimes he's yellow. He's got um, orange, orange on his face. I wish this came out a little, a little better with the picture quality. But he's really chilled, you know, just a baby. Probably maybe a month old. He's a good guy. Rocco. Yeah, I'm going to put him back in his home now. Maybe he can get some crickets. Get some crickets? Yeah? Yeah, he's real pretty. Alright, Rocco. Feeding time. Go get him. Let's see if it goes for any of them. He 
the crickets, Rocco. Eat the crickets. Probably like, where's my tree at? Alright, well, I'll do a part four whenever he starts eating. I'm going to put his stuff back in his cage now. I'll be back. Alright, everybody, we're back. And uh, we're going to see if he wants to eat. I had to use my red light because... Whenever I dropped my light on the ground, it started smoking a little bit, so I changed the bulbs out. Hopefully it stopped smoking, but I'm going to have to go get a new bulb tomorrow. Alright, he's just chilling right here. I'm going to pick him up, see if he wants to eat something down here on the ground. I'm going to set him right next to his food bowl down there, where all the crickets are eating his vegetables. Because he doesn't like vegetables yet. I'm going to scare the crickets over towards him. Hey. Go on. See if he wants to eat. Get your crickets, Rocco. No. Ah. I guess he's not hungry. But yeah, carpet looks nice. It's all pressed down up against the glass. Uh -huh. You can't get underneath there, sucker. Now they're probably going to try to hide underneath the water bowl. But, got it all taped down. I guess he's just camera shy. Keeps watching me. Every move. Hey, buddy. Alright y'all, so, so I hope this helps everybody um, whenever you buy crickets and shit. Because I know I, I always got pissed off. Crickets kept going underneath there and you never got any of them. So, alright, later.